Welcome back guys for another video. Today we are working on the Miata. So as you guys have seen my videos of this painting and stuff, I'll be coming out with that cut and buff video soon. So that part three. So one thing I wanted to go over because I've also seen a lot of questions about it and it's how to rhino line or what it looks like to rhino line the inside of your Miata. So as you can see in here, it used to be this white paint. I think of recording this video until <laughs> it's after I'd already done it. So um, and we're going to go over what I what I did to be able to achieve this, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the Herculiner stuff that I picked up from O'Reilly's. You can pick up in a quart. If you are going to do this, don't be dumb like I was and only pick up the quart. Pick up the full gallon kit that they sell for 80 bucks, because um, I'm already three quarts into it, and I'm already 100 bucks, and I should have just spent the 89.99. So first, what you're going to want to do is with the paint, you're going to want to take a 400 grit and you're going to want to scuff it up and put in some really good elbow grease to make sure you scuff it up really good. It is a urethane paint and so the urethane will stick to anything. And then when you go to apply it, you're going to want just uh, just some regular brushes. Don't buy them at O'Reilly's. These were like 20 bucks. Just go to the dollar store. Um, it's close to you and you'll be able to get the same stuff to achieve the same quality. So this is kind of what it looks like. So as you can see, I just kind of finished up with the rhino lining and everything. So you can kind of see how it's looking. So I still have about one more coat that I actually need to throw on there. But afterwards, if you don't want that really heavy duty kind of look, you can sand it down by just taking like a 600 grit um, and some water and just kind of wet sanding it. And that'll also like even kind of out the coats um, and make it look a little better. But I wanted this because it's gonna be easy to spray off and easy to clean. I'm gonna put a drain in the bottom of it. I'm just gonna drill like a, like a one inch hole um, on both sides so that I can just wash it and then clean it and then just wipe it out afterwards. So for easy cleanup. All right guys, well I hope you like this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll have plenty more content coming out and stay tuned.